So the piece that I'm painting today is just for fun, as pretty much anything I'm doing these days is, I'm working off of a spin-off from my last video where I went through my inspiration process and pulled what I could from the concept of horror movies. And so I'm just doing something silly, no reference on this piece, just some popcorn with some horror elements in it, kind of scary movie night-esque, but lots of colors. So I'm just playing around, um, gonna see how it goes, messing around with laying in colors as depth, foreground, I don't know, probably not doing anything right, but this is how we learn, right? It's been um, a few years ago now, my dad passed away. He was very artistic in many ways, theater and literature, and he also did some painting, and most of that would have been well before I was born. But in going through and cleaning out some things of his, I kind of inherited a few of his old supplies. And if you could imagine, they're not. <laughs> a lot of things are quite aged at this point, but it's been kind of surprising how how much I've been able to actually utilize. I ran quite a few brushes. I had to throw away a lot where the um, they were no longer holding the adhesive, but uh, quite a few that are actually pretty darn good. He had them with some oil paints, which all had to be thrown away. Um, I got some palette knives that have been nice to have even though I'm doing mostly watercolors right now. And this is a super old pad of watercolor paper, which is like the nicest paper I've ever used in my life. It's really funny. Um, so I will make use of this. It's got a little bit of discoloration to it, but I actually kind of like that a lot of texture. And what's really fun is when I open this up, I found some of my dad's old work. So, yeah, here's one, and then a still life that he did. 
So that's super, super cool to find this sort of thing. Um, I wish I had ever seen my dad actually paint. Here's another one. Apples. So that's the paper that I'm actually currently using. This is a lot better quality and heavier than what I've what I personally have and have been using right now because I've just been using up old stuff from um, having not been a serious watercolor painter forever and ever. But for anything I'm doing that I want a little bit better quality for, I'm going to use that and homage to my beloved father, who I miss very much, and uh, just keep working and trying things. I can do a little self critique on this piece for sure. I think the very front foreground is falling back too much because that's where I have the darkest colors. Uh, the background up here is a total mess. My colors definitely got a little muddy, lost my popcorn a little bit. I think I just uh, was starting to lose my subject versus background. That was not a clear distinguishing thing. So, you know, I'm learning what I need to work on. My colors of my for my uh, subject got a little bit muddy, but it's practice. Uh, I'm not unhappy with it, <laughs> but ask me again in six months when I keep doing this and we'll see what I say then. Uh, but yeah, it's a process, it's a journey, and I'll just keep going and seeing what I can accomplish. 
Thanks for joining me on my journey and uh, see what we can come up with for next time. Hope you're all staying safe. Make things stay sane. This is a perfect opportunity to really jump in on some projects you maybe have thought about trying. Do it. This is the time. Let me know what you're up to. Take care.